Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Pitch Please, the podcast where people who play games pitch ideas to people who make them. Tom, how Hello. are you? Oh, I'm good. We just recorded six minutes that got wiped. Uh, I'm joined, and we are joined by Chris. Hi. This is all you're getting. I'm not redoing my fantastic intro that's been lost to the to it the. It was amazing. To the I'm so glad. I'm so it sad was, that we've lost. I mean, that. we were all it was laughing. The best we, six I think, minutes. some of us cried. No, no, um, no, we didn't laugh too much because the laughing is distracting. Remember that. We're also joined <laughs> <yeah>. by James. <laughs> Hello, I'm James. I make games. So does Chris, Perfect. but he didn't mention it. I'm, I'm partial <laughs> partial to making games. Yeah, them. no, Chris also makes games. But we also we also have a returning guest in the form of our boy Ravs. Hi, everyone. Sorry I accidentally <laughs> stopped my recording. Uh, <laughs> very professional of me. <laughs> Oh, no, it's okay. Uh, I also gave you an update on the last uh, game you pitched, which was uh, Minds of Molyneux, and it was a very succinct, very very well put together document I spent hours making, but honestly, I don't want to go through mm -hmm. it all again. It was the best six minutes, I've honestly, of my life, but that's gone. Yeah. Thanks, Maybe thanks Raz. we'll release it as Sorry. a bonus podcast, <laughs> six minutes of just intro. <laughs> oh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't sure. save I it. Put it at the so. end. God, I deleted it. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'll just put my bit out. I'll just put me talking. No <laughs> responses. Oh, that was nice. the worst part of it. Now, obviously, um, we don't know Ravs's idea. Oh, it is. I've not heard this We've before. We've got no idea. What? Okay. Yeah. No, they, the, in the podcast that we lost, they did hear my idea, but here, here, here we go again. <laughs> here we go again, okay? <laughs> okay, right, go. We're actually recording this time. This is a genius <laughs> idea uh, yeah. born at the pub from myself, Mr. Thomas Clark, you know, Angory Tom, and Mr. Duncan Jones. Uh -huh. We've had him before on the yeah. podcast. We, have we had haven't had Duncan. Duncan. I think we had should had get Duncan. Duncan on the podcast. I think you should. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm slightly stealing this idea from them, but, you know, I was also involved in the creative process. Did you? So. Who came up with this? Who who was the seed of the idea? What was the start I, of the conversation as well? Uh, Run I, it by I, me. I, I want a role play. Okay. I'll be Duncan. Uh, you'll be Duncan? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, Why well, is that surprising to you? Is it, who would Tom be? Yeah, who would Tom be? Maybe the one called uh, Tom. Tom, yeah, Tom, <laughs> you're Tom. I'll be, I'll be Tom. Right. So at the pub, I'm like... Oh man, wasn't Burnout Paradise a cool game? <laughs> oh, hundred percent agree. Bam. It's fucking amazing. Bam. Bam. <laughs> that is how he talks. I'm not. I'm not doing role playing here. I've got games to pitch. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, okay. So my idea is a racing game like no other because you're going to be racing. You know, big rigs, effectively, just big like eighteen wheelers, excavators, wrecking ball machines. Uh, just all these big, crazy, clunky, huge, like, destruction and construction vehicles uh, through a map that I know what you're thinking. Oh, man, you know, we, we don't want to do that that map that looks like an eight that just loops around. That would be really annoying. Figure well, actually, out, sure. picture that, but it's just absolutely filled with buildings and you have to carve your own path through the, the, the map. And on your next lap, you can be like, Oh man, that that was a really good route that I destroyed my way through. I'll take that path. Or, oh my god, that guy with the wheelbarrow, he was ahead of me. I'm gonna I'm gonna go see where he went and guy try the go through his route. Me and my but, dump know, truck. I was, thinking, wheelbarrow, like. I was thinking that you know, just for like an absolute meme shit vehicle, we could put in like a guy in a wheelbarrow or like a golf cart, just little sure. little, sh little shit vehicles, <laughs> and amongst yeah, all yeah, these yeah. big bad boys, you know. The biggest, baddest okay. boys. Yeah. So is it just, is it still just at its core a, a racing game? Like you have to come for, there are X laps and you have to come first after you've crafted this race for yourself or is there, like, is that, is that basically what it is? But you know, but you're destroying this terrain along the way? Um, yeah, effectively, like every, every time you load into a race or a map or whatever, like everything's going to be completely there, you know, cause otherwise, you know, you don't want to play a map that people have already smashed up. That takes away half the fun. Yeah. Okay. I can, I can see that. Well, Chris, what are your thoughts? What are so your immediate thoughts? I, I, my immediate thoughts actually have changed since my last immediate thoughts that got deleted. <laughs> um, second immediate thoughts. I, I, I really think that this could be funnier and uh, what well, better if it was a double dash Mario Kart double dash style, right? So What's one that? of you okay. is driving, the other one is controlling the huge equipment, 
right? So if you're in like a wrecking ball, one of you's just oh. focused on driving and the other one is the one spinning like stuff around and trying to like hit other cars slash buildings. I think that, that, that could be- limit the vehicle choice quite substantially? Though? No, because you could just separate out all the controls for that. So one of you is always focused on driving. Um, but right, if you okay. want to switch, you you know, you do the double dash style switch. Jump over each because other, yeah. I, I used to love double dash. That's what they should have yeah. remade, not Mario Kart. I never played eight. it. Oh, it's so good. Wait, so how does double thing. dash work? One of you drives, one of you One of you drives, weapons. one of you can... But then you can switch whenever you want. Okay. Yeah, the other one uh, just uses it's items. It's good. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well, I quit. It's, not, it's not actually boring at all playing as the, like, the weapon guy. Okay, but there's like a level of idea. tactics. Yeah, there's a level of tactics to it. Uh, and I feel like yeah. if you can also damage the... Sorry, if you can also damage the vehicles, uh, and maybe like you can also repair... Then maybe that's like something. Okay. Well, w- sure. W- what do you think of that, James? What I mean, you do? my my immediate thought was more to do with uh, the destructible terrain and how you're going to have to set up some sort of checkpoint system, aren't you? You can't just let them go free because you do an immediate loop through the <laughs> just dig a hole through the finish line <laughs> and just do the lap as quickly as possible. Yeah, that's what so I was have thinking. To, you have to design some sort of course that still have to be a track of some sort, right? But with obstacles mm-hmm. or... Well, is it like randomised checkpoints? Maybe randomised. Maybe it's just um, the actual terrain itself is... Maybe it's like a beach level and it's all sandy and you can dig through through the dunes or something. I don't know. Is it always in a city or can we have uh, different that was just in That was just the initial idea. I think it, mm. obviously any good game needs varied environments. You'd get fed up of just driving through, you know, Metropolis always. Mm. So like you could go to like Brazil and drive through some favelas or <laughs> so or, maybe, so maybe, so maybe, maybe we need, you know, uh, <laughs> Overwatch style or whatever. We've got each, each uh, country ha- and we've got each capital maybe and you just plow through Piccadilly Circus and just, <laughs> just trash it, or sure. you just go and knock down the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. You know, ooh, yeah. ooh, maybe. It's <laughs> starting to sound very no maybe Russian. <laughs> oh, God. I I still feel like it has to follow the rules of a racing game in which you must complete a lap. So, like, maybe, like, checkpointed things, yeah. Like, no good race... No racing game has it so that you can just reverse at the start and drive over the finish lane. <laughs> That's, like, no. some speedrunner shit. If, you, if you're carving amazing. your own track, okay. though, you, yeah. could, you could just there make the game. smallest lap. That does that. I can't mm. remember what game it is. Really? There's a game it's where a ga- if you drive back at the start... You unlock a shortcut, which gets you ahead or like in front of everyone. What game what? was that? There was a game that did that, that. Isn't that that you- dumb, dumb Ready Player One movie? Yeah, it happened in Ready Player One. <laughs> that might be it, but there is a game that does that as well. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think there is. It might Ready just Player be Ready One Player One. It might just be Ready like, Player One. I think, I, think, I think my idea might be misunderstood here, though. Like, you're, you're not carving your own course. The course is there and all the buildings and the cities The there. course exists, yeah. You have to carve your way through that, you know. You can't just do a whoop-de-loop circle at the start and make the shortest course. It's, it's, like, um, it's like the Mario Kart, real-life Mario Kart thing they released recently. I can't remember what it's called. Mario Kart Live, Live maybe? IRL. Yeah. Uh, where you can place the checkpoints <laughs> in your living room and it makes a track based on that. Um, so it's like that, okay. except I guess it's a city and the checkpoints are in very weird places, down some blocked alleyways, through some buildings so, that are yeah. inaccessible. Um, or I guess maybe they are accessible. Maybe you could just take the road and it's just like, okay, well, that's, that's what, a route. That's but what there's Wheel no Barry way Man that's has quicker. to do, right? Wheel Barry Wheel Man, Barry Man he, destroy he the buildings. Takes, and no, Superman. he's great at parkour. He takes a roof and he's stuff like that. Parkouring um, wheelbarrow. <laughs> but then there's other people who are in like the big rigs and they're just like, yeah, the checkpoint's behind this building. I'll just go through the building. That's an easy way. Um, so I guess it's like that. Uh, I- Chris. So there's a game called Split Second. I don't know if you've played it. It's a racing game, but you're racing on a, a reality TV show. And as you drive through, like a building will slam down onto you and you have to like essentially like make the shot look good if I think if I remember correctly there were a couple of games right. that did that what? where you you basically you're a Hollywood stunt driver there was another game that did that there was Stuntman but um, that wasn't a racing game no but so Split Second is a racing game and it you as you drive through events are triggered like tankers will explode which will do something but in this you could trigger like 
Levolution, like Battlefield 4 Levolution style, like skyscraper falling down, and then like it's blocked in front of everyone, and now you've got to smash your way through. But then you <laughs> run the risk of, if I'm in front of everyone, I'm now creating the hole, but then by the time I... By the time last place gets here, the hole's already done, so they can catch up. So it right. en- enables that whole like blue shell equivalent of being able to catch up with someone who's from the back. You know, like I feel like it, just because you're quick doesn't mean you can. You're a smaller machine, so you get ahead, but then you're going to take longer to get through any debris or any like destruction that you need to do because you don't have a bigger machine which gives the time the big machines time to catch up but they can get through things quicker so there's Mm. like a a balance of well there's a balance where you know big machines that are slow can catch up because they can get through things quicker but small machines can't get through things quick but they can get off the line quicker what about yeah yeah, yeah. um what about things like uh you know wacky races style i used uh, to love that trying to set up traps or other things for your opponents on the course to stop them or like what happens if you could you collapse buildings on top of people for example to slow them down that's not something i initially had in my mind but i think like yeah that this is why i think this show is a good idea because you're pitching ideas and like yeah there should totally be that i think that you should be able to like look at a big skyscraper know that someone's went like or go planning on going that way so bump into it and it topples over and (sighs) Gives them a harder time or some some thing or I I'm not sure but I, I think fucking, obstacles yeah. are fucking over other people. That's always fun. James, how how did you imagine this? Is this going to be like Burnout Paradise kind of camera angle, or could we think about is like for me, micro machines came to mind. I thought that sort of top down look would be quite cool for this. And uh, or are you imagining more like I want to see you driving through stuff? Yeah, I was thinking more of the driving through yeah. stuff because in my mind, I like I, I I do like the old micro machines from growing up, but like in my mind, you know, we got to sell cosmetics here as well, and I was thinking That's you could like, customize your building, uh, your your builder, your your driver, mm. you know, so he's like a guy in a hard hat, just start starts out in a hard hat, high vis and stuff, and <laughs> uh, maybe you could buy like a cool pair of trousers that give him like a. Uh, plumber's crack, you know, just builder's crack <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hanging out Perfect. the back, or like yeah. you know, uh, customize your JCB up a little bit, or you know, change the color of your hard hat, or you know, do you know, give them some cool glasses, just, custom decals you know, for the JCBs and stuff <clears throat> like Forza. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, was- so were you also imagining that each car is its own kind of class like there's huge cars that can smash stuff quicker there's the wheelbarrow guy who's like really quick and i guess as nimble as a wheelbarrow guy is versus a yeah. truck i'm assuming um, there's a guy in the wheelbarrow and a guy pu- yes. pushing the- okay yeah, good yeah, yeah, because yes. like, just so we're all <laughs> yeah, on the same yeah. page <laughs> So the, the guy, guy in the wheelbarrow is the one holding the a guy. jackhammer or something? I don't <laughs> yeah, know. Or yeah. throwing like bricks out of it or something. No, yeah. I think the jackhammer is good because he needs to be able to destroy something. And I feel yeah. like just holding a jackhammer out front is perfect. Yeah. He's just always swinging a sledgehammer in front of him. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, <laughs> so can I just quickly interject? With the, the, okay. Wheelbarrow guy. So, so, so that you don't just have like a shit, like a, like a meme character who is actually shit. What if wheelbarrow guy... Yeah, they can't plow through buildings, but they can they can get into like you, you can get little shortcuts that other people might not necess- necessarily get. Uh, mm. And your advantage is you you can't you can't plow through buildings, but you have detonators. So you could potentially get a little bit ahead at the beginning by taking a small shortcut to detonate a building behind you, which will then block off or fall on like other people. Which will call and make them have have to divert ways that they wouldn't other do, like they wouldn't go, like basically ways so of setting throwing, traps. Like, sticky to, bombs around. Yeah, throwing sticky bombs. I just love. I really love the idea of having the perspective game, and you you're seeing a, a, a skyscraper like fall down in front of you, and you're like, "Fuck, I have to. I've got to go as fast as I can to get underneath this." But I'm also a JCB that goes at 13 miles an hour maximum. <laughs> right, James. What what if the wheelbarrow JCB's guy is like the pace car, right? So you're all behind Wheelbarrow Guy. He goes off in front, starts blowing shit up, <laughs> and you've just got to follow them and like dodge, smash, and get through. 
Nailed it. The nice. pace car. Oh, I, I see. Is it called pace car? Um, yeah, yeah. That's I, the one that no. they have to follow. Like when isn't it when like there's like a dangerous there's something I don't know. That's a safety like, car. Like, yeah, yeah. So to stop you going, to stop you speeding, basically to stop these JCBs and dumper trucks going too fast, you have to follow a man pushing a wheelbarrow. Is that what I you're think, saying? I think that that could be. I think that could be an alternative game mode. You know, like, yeah. Th- there's like your regular destructo races or whatever, and then you've got like wheelbarrow man <laughs> mode or something where you have to follow the path of destruction. That's what we could call it. Path yeah, of destruction. Avoiding, avoiding stuff falling on top of you. And yeah. I guess like if you're too far behind, it's like, well, I guess I have to carve through this skyscraper that fell and yeah. crushed all these people. And like you um, said, like you'd said there, Tom, like, yeah, I did picture three different like types of vehicle class. So you've got like your large vehicles, which will be like your, you know, the big wrecking ball machine or like a, uh, that that's the only one that I can think of that's really big, but there's other really big construction vehicles, I'm certain. Then you've got like your Fork medium lift. medium vehicle. Well, I think forklift would be down on the ship tier. Uh so there's oh, yeah, the, well. then like medium tier you've got, you've got like, wheelbarrow white man. van man or uh, <laughs> white van. Yeah. White van man or like just you know like a um a, a, a wow, what, what am I thinking of? Excavator or some crap. Yeah, yeah. And so then like your ship down. tier. Dump truck, you know, yeah. The guy who sells sausage baps on the side of the road in his little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have a. I'm sure you could have. Yeah, because th- you know that's frequented by the people that do construction work. You know, because yeah, there'll be by true. a site and there's a burger van. You could have a burger van character, and then you know the 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 bottom the bottom tiers like your your little like uh, wheelbarrow man and your you know forklift. You know things that aren't okay. really that big. Real quick. Okay. You're, you're saying that in the tier list, forklift is on par with two men in a wheelbarrow. Well, just because of the size of the vehicle. I'd say a forklift is quite right, okay. small and slow, you know? Yeah, yeah, sure. Chris. Okay. Um, I immediately, I think Alex said it, but everyone was talking. But I do think that the man in with the burger van should not be a playable character, but the power-up delivery system throughout the map. That right. is genius, Oh god, that's great! Actually, like, that's great idea, great idea, Chris. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> well, it was a combination of you just shouting the word "power ups" and then ta- and then talking about burger vans, um, because yeah, I think you know they're always static. You see them always like everywhere. You know, just loads of builders queuing up to get a sausage roll, and I think Dude. that's that's a good way of doing it. So and what are we saying? Like if we if we drive through like the burger van pit stop. Uh, yeah. you can pick up like a speed booster like, you can get a speed yeah, booster yeah. yeah. some kind yeah. of explosive bombs d- device yeah I think uh, that, that, sure. that works as a as a nice diegetic way of implementing power ups <laughs> sure <laughs> uh, okay like Tom you, you and I I don't think either of us I would say are super racing game enthusiasts right we don't play racing games much are you, are uh, you? no I mean However, I, I've played the intro to Forza, the intro to Grid, the intro to Dirt. <laughs> yeah, I've played all the intros and, to those games. And the careers for all of them always extend to, hey, nice, you won that championship? Do that <laughs> a million more times. Uh, however, we are we are both big fans of Burnout Paradise, right? And those kinds of games. Oh, yeah. Okay. Burnout Paradise is awesome. Yeah. So what is it with those games? Is it just the pure destruction like what, what? What is it that makes them more fun? Than, because it, Burnout Paradise, a lot of that is just racing as well, right? What is no? I think one of the game modes is just come first, but the other ones are destroy as many opponents as you can, or it, they're, they're different game modes. Like, and then there's the crash. I can't remember what it's called, uh, where you literally just throw your car into the middle of traffic and just cause the biggest crash. Mm. That is the best one by far. Mode. You used to press the, is awesome. <laughs> the bumper buttons, right, to initiate it. And you would suddenly just, yeah. you'd be like just tootling along at like 10 miles an hour. And all of a sudden your car would just go into a death roll. <laughs> you yeah. just keep it, it just going for 20 flipping. minutes. And then like a truck hits into you and you've got like the aftertouch where you can move your car in the air. Uh, and it's great. It's awesome. Um, so do we need to start thinking Burnout about it? One, Burnout 1 was just a racing game that had really good crash physics. And that's why it evolved well, into it, yeah. Burnout as we know it, because everyone just spent the entire game just crashing. With Burnout Paradise, it was, so good. It was the presentation of, of how things were like. So when you, when you crash into someone, it slows down. The camera focuses on that. You you don't have to worry about driving. You're just worried. You're just watching this car crumple into a, like a small heap, and then you go back to the yeah. driving. 
And like the crashing, even when you crash, it's just as satisfying as hitting someone else and watching them crash. Mm. Like you don't feel, yeah. you feel annoyed that you've crashed, but you're like, that looks you're sick. Like, because oh, you're, shit, you, that's you, sweet. You, your car just crumples into the thing, the wheels come <laughs> off and you're like, that looked great. And then you just back to where you were. But yeah. you also had ways to negate that by going through the drive through repair shops, the drive through boost. Yeah. Also, you could gain boost by doing stupid stunts, like driving on the wrong side of the road, close to traffic, driving, Getting like the doing- uh, There was that stuff yeah. as well. Doing rolls off, off off ramps, and also the, oh, you, you could also change the play style. Arcade-y. Yeah, that, yeah arcade say. helped a lot. There wasn't the simi you don't have as to do the gears, Forza. <laughs> but also you could no. you could choose a car that fit your play style. So if you were heavy on the stunts, you go for a stunt car to get boost. If you were all about speed, and you'd have to maintain speed to rack up boost and do things like that way. Or there's the one where you get speed for running people off the road. But like, so I think those different types of vehicle in this could also work in that so you have destruction heavy vehicles so you get that maybe you get more boost or fuel or however you want to do it on depending on how much you destroy maybe with the other vehicles it's based on how much you can just actually stay on the track and and race Wheel compared Burman. to wheelbarrow man um <laughs> sure i mean i, I feel like, like you're still could, gonna you be could separate things out you're going to have to have your vehicles be a little bit, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not true to life. You know, your dump truck is oh, still going to be able to go 90, 100 miles per hour, right? <laughs> to make it like, that, I, I well, don't yeah, think we want to yeah. see them just poodling along and then slowly knock stuff down. It's like, it's got to be arcadey, right? Because that's that, the thing that made it. You definitely Paradise should have a, like, a, a penalty to being big and destructive, you know, because they're, they're like, they're going to be the most destructive, so they can carve the most path. But obviously, we can't like we can't have them cruising like a Ferrari. But yeah, they definitely should be faster than they typically are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirteen miles an hour. <laughs> I think going forward right, with the exactly. arcadey style of it is that if 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 every vehicle had a special move, right? So <clears throat> you go maybe that's what you pick up from the Burger Man dump truck. Its special thing is that when you get the Pick up the back fills up and you can dump it behind you at any point, right? And then mm. someone smashes into oh, that. The okay, wrecking like ball, that. maybe Ooh. the wrecking ball can yeah. spin on itself for like three seconds or something, and so everything around it just gets fucking knocked out of the way. <sighs> yeah, the, yeah. You know, cement, the cement mixer drops cement behind just it, and then dumps, you get stuff just dumps of it. It quickly dries you and you just <laughs> smash into you it. Just like yeah, yeah. Build there off the back of the cement mixer. <laughs> you could do yeah. things so like if that. This is if this is still double dash. In that you've got the driver and the person controlling it. Yeah. There's a character in Heroes of the Storm that is two is a giant with two heads, and one person moves them around by just walking around. The other person <laughs> does all the attacks. Have we just made like a racing MOBA where the dump truck is like, oh, the Q ability is that it uh, has like a just a ram, but if you use its ultimate, it dumps a load of stuff behind it and knocks everything behind it off the road. No, I, st- I still think that uh, like everyone should be able to just if you drive into something like the 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 swinging wrecking ball is still controlled by the second player the dump truck can still you know you can still maybe dump small bits but then like your your ability is that you get this bigger power control like based on your vehicle so there's no, still I think, things I think you to do in between. Me, Chris. I, I, I want a MOBA in which the characters are dump trucks and cement mix. <laughs> How right, would okay. that work? Where you just have a what is in like a top down are you imagining a top down like, or an isometric game where you're just no, 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 no. Uh, it, it's it's just it's it's just the characters are just really sexy dump trucks. Okay, nice. <laughs> right. To be sexy. Yeah, worth <laughs> sexy builders crack. They've got, they've got four abilities each. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Four of builders Some crack. junk in the trunk. Oh dear. Oh. Nice. <laughs> so Chris? there was a there was a thing I I, I prototyped. It must have been my second year of uni. And I mm. tentatively called it over trucks uh-huh. because it was basically an arena shooter with with cars. And every vehicle had special ability. So you had a healer class who was an ambulance and their special ability was basically like uh, your, what they called defibrillators. So if anyone was in a small right. radius, you could defibrillate the ground and it just revived any cars that were in the the area. And there was a tank and they had special abilities. Obviously, they've got quite, a, they're an attack based thing. So I think you could you could do something like that where you could have it as an arena sort of base destruction derby but like everything is you're it's in a, like an arena it's like a battleground 
kind mm. of well, this, thing. Uh, this, did any of you ever play, um, what was it, Crash Crash Team Racing? I was thinking so of Cell Damage it, style, yeah. Yeah, but there's obviously like an arena mode in that, like where it's just a big circular mm. map and the goal is to, you know, use power-ups and stuff to beat each other up, so... Is that just like the battle one on Mario Kart? Chris could be like a yeah, like battle mode in Mario Kart as well. What you're saying, Chris, could be like another game mode in this. Oh, we're adding adding, (laughs) we're adding on to the two week (laughs) playtime. Yeah, we are. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're getting it. Sorry, James, you've had something to say for a little while. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that game is Twisted Metal. Have you played that? That was on Twisted Metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twisted Metal Vigilante Eight. That was a similar one. Um, yeah, but okay. I th- I think like we, we need to in my head, right? Uh, I don't know how you guys feeling about this, but I think we want to be sure that we're not getting too close to uh, Eye of the Storm. Eye of the Storm, yeah. Which is Eye of so the Storm. Perhaps yeah. a, a little while ago, we had Simon Clark on, and the okay. idea Doctor. that we came up with with him, Doc. Sorry, Doctor Simon Clark. And um, the idea that we came that well that he came up with was uh, this racing game where you are in the eye of a storm. It's essentially a battle royale racing game. And you have to just okay. keep racing. There's no, there's no end. You're just racing in this desert, and you're in the middle of, you know, the Mad Max storm. Basically, you're in the middle yeah. of that, and it's closing in, getting smaller and smaller, and um, you just have to survive, basically. But and if you if you if you touch it, you're out. And there was like mul- you, there was multiplayer. There was on like there was like you could fight each other and stuff. And there were weapons. We didn't quite sell on power ups or whether you could have bikes and stuff. Bike, the, have bikes was a contentious point. Bike, bike from what gate. I recall. Um, so, like, and I think to make it different enough from that, um, like, I, I think the arcade side of it is it could be great, and I like, and I wonder what if this was more of a slightly more in the direction of um, Burnout Paradise, where if it like if it was like a large open area that you then go in, you know, you you go into races or events within that area. You've got the city area, then you've got like. I don't know, favela, <laughs> and then you've got mountains, you've got whatever, like, and you're going in, you know how in Burnout Paradise, you just drive, you just, you just rock up to a road and it's like, press Y to start this event. And then that's where the race happens. Like, could it be a bit like that? Or like, how, yeah, like, I think that'd be great. So how would this work in, like, could we still have the multiplayer work in that respect though? Like in terms of, you know, having like the, having two people in one vehicle or like, does it need to be? I guess people yeah. could just cruise around the the city within your idea, and then like queue up for a race, or be like a race is starting or whatever. I, I'm I'm not certain. Maybe it's just like this freestyle hub where the host is hosting it, and it's just a city you can drive around and have a laugh with your mates. And you're like, do you guys want to do something? And then you can like the host can pick which game mode they go into by driving to the location. That's what you I know, love like, about Burnout let's, Paradise. Let's do an arena mode, or let's do a race, or. Let's do bar, b- b- uh, barrel, uh, bleh, wheel barrels only. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I had a bit of a stroke there. I was so excited. <laughs> so excited about wheel barrels. Uh, yeah. Chris, Chris, what are you thinking? I think, well, like with that, you've got to you've got to be careful because you you set an expectation and like so if you're playing a game about destruction and all of a sudden you're in this open world um, like lobby, you're going to expect things to be able to be destroyed and if you try and level a whole city. That's not going to perform well, um, but you, 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 yeah. So you you set the expectation of that. So I think you've got to be careful uh, with that because people are going to assume that they can level this city. Um, Maybe you can. That's a good YouTube happen- video. Right? Yeah, but but what happens once you do? <laughs> uh, like game over. Um, okay. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Yeah, like you've a just got a level uh, city. Katamari. Is it? Is it a reverse Katamari where instead Maybe of collecting everything, you've got to destroy elite. everything? It's based in elite, <laughs> and if you destroy too much, you trigger that big earthquake they've been waiting on, and it just wipes the map. <laughs> Are you yeah. saying if you destroy the city, Yellowstone National Park finally <laughs> gives up and just yeah. Yeah, super volcano. Okay. Oh, perfect. Right, so m- maybe maybe open world doesn't work as well, but I guess then that still makes it like if we if we were to have levels, that's still that's still different enough. I think what what I'm getting excited about so far is um, Chris's idea of all the different power ups and stuff you can have for the different for different vehicles, like the idea of a dump truck dumping. I don't know. Maybe you can just collect fallen cars and then you just dump dump all that shit onto the road behind you, um, or like I don't know. I like I love the wacky racer style thing as well. Like being able to. I used to, to love that game. Was that I a just, game? I'm mm. thinking of the TV yeah, on Dreamcast. show. 
What on the Dreamcast. Hell? It was. Yeah, it was so good. Was it just? Yeah, it was yeah. really good. Was it just racing? I just or? had that idea. Uh, yeah. It was. It was like kind of Mario Kart ish. Okay. Yeah. All right. What's really good? Raps. What have you? What have you got? So my idea is just for the shortcuts. You know that you might be able to take. Maybe the player will spot some moral decisions. So you're like. Oh man, that's like a really good stretch of field or road through there. Uh, but to get through it, I'm going to have to drive through a children's hospital, or oh my God. Uh, you know, like so. You're like, oh my god, do I do I destroy this building to to get ahead in this race? Well, how how yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. How how does morality affect you? Is it literally like you came first? But you're you're, you're safe. What cost? Yeah, <laughs> cost. Yeah. cost. That's the subtitle. It just says that at the end on the score screen. <laughs> yeah. It just says, "But at what cost?" And I'd you like build to, a little yeah. sad. I'd really like to hear some more examples of the the Puppy choices. Hospital. Okay, Orphanage. okay. A lot of hospitals. Uh, yeah. Um, charity <laughs> Pity shop. Pity hospital. <laughs> I, feel Pity like a, hospital. I feel like a, a charity yep. shop is on, quite low on them. You know, yeah, I'd say that, that one would well, affect you very much. Charity hospital. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, That's probably the um, ultimate. I can't think of much. Yeah. I can't yeah. think of much worse than that. Those are those are the big the moral ones. Training center. Yep. Rehabilitation centers. Um, yeah, right. Okay. Rehab. You know, just a, just a few just a few morality options sprinkled in there as well. <laughs> yeah. And if you drive through enough of them, it says you won, but at what cost? <laughs> How does that do you have your, an do you think your own that? house should have an arrow as well so you know where you live in the <laughs> oh, city? Oh, that would be great. Yeah, actually. Like, am, am I going to take out my family right now or am I going to go around <laughs> it? But the, how the, does it affect you? Like in yeah, a race? It just doesn't really... The goal is to win. <laughs> it just doesn't. Okay, just but there, doesn't there has matter. to be... <laughs> so uh, at the moment, do we, are we basically having... There are mo- there are different classes of vehicles. So you've got like I the, feel like the, the super destructive one. Heavy, medium and light, yeah. Okay, light wheelbarrow man and white van man, Fort maybe. Forklift and... Fort yeah. Okay, forklift. Okay, and then and then you've got, like, heavy... Is heavy literally, like, you know those... Like, what's that one that's the world's largest mining vehicle that is the size of... I think that's a uh, that's a bit big. <laughs> it's, like, the size of yeah. Africa. That's probably a bit big, um, yeah. It's, that's huge. <laughs> heavy, that's really, really, heavy to me is, like, like, wrecking ball, like a crane. Um, yeah. You know, okay. we've just seen Thunderbirds. Huge, right? your big, huge drill big machine. Drill, yeah. Drilling mole from a, Thunderbirds. Yes, like drilling a mole. Big dump yeah. truck. Because you can get big dump trucks. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, excavators. Then, so each each class has its own um, has its own pros and cons, but then each vehicle within those classes have their own abilities. Unique ability. Yeah. 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 Uh, and you get those, but how do you get those unique abilities? Is it by like... Are going you, to the burger vans. Going to the burger, burger vans, but, uh, because well, I think they, they should be out or... of the. They should be slightly off the main route, so you get that. You get the risk reward. You know, I love a risk reward, Alex. You go. Do I veer off, lose my lead, or you know, fall behind because I have to go get this thing? But then when I get back, I can use my ability to hopefully get ahead again. But if, maybe if you don't want to take the risk, you gradually but slowly let like charge up through the power of your destruction okay yeah you could do I, that yeah. I like the idea what I was thinking like maybe the uh, dump trucks all the rubble that just falls into the back you can tip out at some point yes yeah. to block people behind you um, I think I think we've spoken a lot about destruction uh-huh. but ultimately the people we're playing here they're builders mm-hmm. is there is there an opposite class where you can put up walls or build a bridge or like <sighs> really quickly just say like oh i've got enough material enough scrap that i've picked up as i've been driving around to just say yeah i'll build just a bridge across this area and just drive right across that i think that's a great idea it's death stranding now uh no but like being able to being able to immediately like okay i I joked about fortnite building earlier but what if you did literally have something like that that was you you can insta build if you have enough um like if you have the materials for it you can insta build someone drops a building detonates a building in front of you you wouldn't be able to get over it oh actually you have enough material to just blueprint a building a bridge straight over this and then you're over but then also that makes it yeah easier for the people, people behind you to do as well yeah 
I don't know. Well, maybe I, build like barricades behind well, you. Well, I think that, as well. that gives the second so, the second player a lot better. Also, it made me immediately think of that uh, bit in Wallace and Gromit where he's laying down the track. Yes, the, that, yeah, the yeah, track. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. it's just that. <laughs> so you know, like the Silver Surfer. I'm now imagining like a cement truck where the 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 cement oh, mixer shit, like swings yeah. swings forward and just makes like this path of cement that just hardens instantly. <laughs> that you can drive up or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so um, but yeah, you can also you can also build stuff behind you to block people. So like, if there's if by lap three every building is destroyed and you're just driving around an empty level, I think you need like the constructor class to be around to basically rebuild as they go, and they've built their own track that's super hard to get through. So you have to kind of yeah. rely on the powerful trucks to then get through the constructions, because um, otherwise by lap three the con the destruction cars i guess will be kind of pointless because tracks have been made already um so yeah something to level it out chris what what, what if up, chris? we change this slightly <laughs> it'll probably oh, end okay. up being a mode um okay <laughs> what if you have two teams you have the constructors and you have the destructors and these right one team is frantically trying to build as much as possible while the other team is frantically trying to destroy as much as possible and obviously, the winner is—is is there more built at the end, or is there more destroyed at the end? More built is in more so like repaired, Splatoon. or yeah. So Splatoon like, was? there are people who are trying to build the city, and you're trying to destroy the city, and they I can feel like Fortnite style build, and you can just fucking ram into it. <laughs> I feel like destruction teams always going to win. It takes yeah. longer to build. <laughs> well, no, because they can build. <laughs> they could do Fortnite style building, and they could build you know traps and and things that can halt the oh, the construction the, team. the destructors down yeah but maybe, but maybe but i also then feel like perhaps the people on the destruction team like is that going to be the team that people are always going to want to be on because it's just kind of fun to blow shit up and crash into things like is well, that yeah, but you have to make the construction team have something that can be useful against the destruction to make that fun, like to make the risk. Maybe they can get run over, but they have the thing that they can do <laughs> that just neg negates the destruction team who are trying to, to run at them. You have to build as many children's hospitals as you can uh, <laughs> yeah. and stop them. <laughs> right. No, but I, I, the thing I really like about Tom's idea was that the like I think that having that frantic the self the um, like you're in the middle of a race and you're constantly trying to build. Uh, build things that will help you that help your driver get across the track quicker and build things that will stop the people behind you um, from overtaking and like you know putting obstacles down like that feels to me kind of like wacky races ish in that you're like you have someone who's constantly on like it's not just weapons um, like maybe there are weapons as well but the construction element I think could could add like this whole this whole other dimension to it how how are we imagining the destruction actually uh, working in that let's say a building a skyscraper has fallen on its side it's blocking the track can yeah. everybody basically just drive through it if they decided to or do they have to well, do some sort of slow action like digging or something like that or can i just just drive this is where i think the classes would come in handy so if you were in like a big like uh big vehicle you could just fucking tear through that bad boy and, mm. like and that's where you're you would come in handy and if you're like wheelbarrowman uh you know you're gonna be like oh this is really difficult for me to get through you have to throw a couple grenades at it or you have like the other guy jackhammer it or something you know it takes a little bit longer for you to get through but the the bigger vehicles will have an easier time getting through a big obstacle but then something like the wrecking ball its ability would be very destructive if it just spanned the wrecking ball around, right? That's true. So you, yeah. you can. There are certain classes of vehicle which would be better at destruction, but some are better at. Like you need to, we need to find the balance between winning the race and doing the most damage. Like, do so you get points for winning just... and points for most damage, and they add up, and you get a total score, or is it mm. you can come third, do shit tons of damage, and still win overall? I think I, I think like burnout where drifting or driving on the opposite side of the road mm -hmm. or air or whatever gives you boost. I think I, I don't think this game should have boost because that's absurd. I think it gives you a certain amount of ticks of just like a ramming ability. 
Like if you've gained like three rams, then you can use that to just slam into stuff and boost forward oh. to like charge what through a building. And or, you know what builders like? Coffee. So it could be coffee uh, and you'd see the animation of your little builder in the front as he's about to ram. He just takes yeah. a plug of coffee and just shoots to, forward. Down to coffee. And yeah. it shoots forward, yeah. yeah. And I think like the more destruction you do or if you destroy other cars or other races or whatever, uh, gives you the ability. Like if you're just stuck on the side of a building and you're like, I can't get through this. I'm stuck in this building. Like then you can use the RAM ability to just launch forward and yeah. smash through that wall. Well, that's or, I don't know, smash through something that's previously indestructible to mm. bring it down on people behind you or whatever. And I think like, yeah, <clears throat> that's how being more destructive gives you an ability that can then get you ahead. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. But and also like, I think you have with the smaller classes, like being able to have um it like say if if a skyscraper did get collapsed in front of you then you're going to have some kind of speed boost that will be able to that will enable to to jump over it somehow or otherwise traverse it in a way that these other vehicles might not be able to yeah but that's the thing i think you need to find the balance between winning the race and destruction because otherwise everyone's just going to pick the fastest because winning is the most important well, thing but isn't that the isn't that the, the difference between for example say when you're playing i don't know call of duty or halo or whatever but like it's the difference between getting getting the most kills and winning the game right you're doing damage or you're trying to actually win 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 the game i feel like that those are different things right how does deathmatch work well, maybe not a death match, <laughs> but like, like you mean like, like objective based ones? Yeah, like objective oh, like based the flag, stuff. Yeah, right. when, yeah, in those games, you everyone normally hates the person at the top of the leaderboard because you know they're not playing the objective. They're normally the person who's just going out, running around for kills, and while everyone else is, yeah. you can see well, by the points well, difference, the they've got comes four kills but more points than the guy who's got twenty five yeah. because they've and actually been playing the objective. So perhaps the 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 damage that you do has some kind of effect more on your, I don't know, like whether there's a, there's a player level or something, that it feeds back into that rather than like whether you actually, like ha any actual impact on the race. The way to win the race is to come first. Um, I, I think it should be is... a combination of both because you need to encourage destruction, but also you want to win. You're but slightly you're, will, forced if, into destruction though. But if you... But no, but now it's that if you're a, if you're a wheelbarrow guy, you could you could just try and do the race and or hope avoiding that everything. You, yeah. you get enough. You you have enough lead that even if the guy in third or the guy in second has destroyed enough, that you can still maintain that points bonus. I think. Like, but then, uh, why would you pick the wheelbarrow if winning isn't the objective anymore? Winning is because you could still do it, but you could still destroy stuff on the way. That's what I'm saying. You need to but find then, that balance. I think, I think there needs to be anymore. a balance. I, I don't think it ever was really a racing game. Well, but if the objective is still, you still have to cross the line about to come so first, far. Is right? the destruction side of things? But how is this? Yeah, but, but you know, that's because to carve the path. It's quite that's a, because quite we all understand what a gameplay. racing game is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so does that mean like the first, like the beginning of the of the of the uh, race is about destruction, right? But then the yeah, because you your first through, lap, everything's standing. Yeah. You know? But then by the end of it, okay. it becomes more <clears throat> of a race, and you're perhaps focusing more on trying to build to stop your enemies and get you know um, stop. Yeah. Them. Sorry. What Tom. if uh, what if this is actually a Godzilla racing game? Oh my god! <laughs> <Hear me out. laughs> so you 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 play as Godzilla or Mothra or all the various other creatures in Godzilla universe. Yeah, and you've got your checkpoints. Wait, and you're trying to smash your way through a. This city. happened last time I was on the show. About forty minutes in, Tom Hazel just froze in a fucking like wrench in the works. Is this how it happens on all the other ones as well? Pretty much. Now, yeah. What, yeah. what if we get an important big brand well, in there actually, and we slap it in there? I was thinking about how I would advertise and title this game, and it's kind of hinging on one man. Uh, okay. Molly, no, man. no, no. It's good. I'm thinking for the commercials and for the title, we could call this John Bobby Barrowman's Bobby. Wheel oh. Barrowman. I like. I was Wait, thinking John Barrowman. On. Someone said Barrowman what earlier, and John <laughs> immediately came into my head. But what does John Barrowman have to do with construction or demolition? Uh, he is, he plays Barrowman. the mayor. <laughs> yeah, he's the mayor of the town. Right. Um, Barrowman's it's John Barrowman's big John, John machines. John Barrowman's Wheel Barrowman has to be said like that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> not not Barrow's, Barrowman's Barrowman? No. Oh, okay. catchy. <laughs> That's true. Has to have, has to have words 
in in between yeah. to really break up the flow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. And I John Barrowman's Wheel Barrowman. Okay. Yeah. So the, the Wheel Barrowman is in the title. Uh, mm-hmm. And the game is chiefly playing as vehicles. That, that yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So I, to clear well, I don't want it to be well, called like okay. Destruction Derby. You know, I wouldn't buy a game called just like uh crush quest i wouldn't buy that no <laughs> oh i was gonna call it something like bob the builder gone rogue yeah <laughs> what if what by if? the way very good skin idea we could work that in somewhere bob the builder, exactly scoop muck and dizzy and rolly too <laughs> yeah lofty and wendy join the crew um what if <laughs> that bob and the everyone game. starts as a baron right <laughs> and oh, you, you level you, up over time yeah you level up over time and it unlock more. Oh, I thought you yeah. meant every race. Like the, no, each no. race, or, you start or maybe as a it could be like gun game, right? So the more you, the, when you reach a, a level of destruction, you upgrade to the next vehicle. Right. Okay. Right. And, they, and each vehicle makes it that much easier to just plow. Th- so it's kind of like a drag race through buildings. Okay. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. But I can see that. Sure. But with each vehicle you get, you're you're going slower, but you're doing more destruction. Yes. Yeah. So the race, the racing, then becomes more important over time. <laughs> Until right drive. at the end, it's actually better to just jump back out the vehicle. Unless, we, uh, unless get your you wheel go in reverse, <laughs> you might have to actually do it backwards. So you start in the destruction vehicles, and over time, you, you get oh, you the the so faster. Faster. wheel barrow, You go down to the barrowman, and then everyone's running yeah. around at the end, just the little <laughs> barrows. Or maybe maybe that's that's that wheel, part way. of how your vehicle becomes damaged over time so you end up yeah like Stuff bits of your off. vehicle fall off and then you oh, end like with the just you're holding the car oh door oh my god that's and great and his batmobile <laughs> gets so damaged that he only has two wheels that work which is exactly. exactly magically become a bike and then okay. from that he gets I a scooter like James might have struck on something really really big here like if if you have your vehicle and throughout like yeah you can destroy as many things as you want get through shortcuts on the map and, and stuff but the more you, the more you, damage you take, the more your vehicle gets fucked, right? And eventually, why does Tom yeah. look so disgusted? Yeah. That was a great idea, James. <laughs> well done for coming up with nice. gun game, James. Like Chris said that, <laughs> I did, but you know, he did say that. Oh, but uh, he said reverse gun game, and that's true. That's a that's unique true. That's true. idea. Yeah, yeah. So we're saying no to Godzilla, just so I'm clear. Yeah, no, no, no. You no. Got, I, I, I kind of, Tom, I you've like got God. Godzilla on one hand and John Barrowman on the other. You go for John Barrowman. <laughs> Yeah, that, okay. he's got the okay. range to play Godzilla. Godzilla for John, John Barrowman. You think John, you think Barrowman, John Barrowman could is be a good Godzilla, Godzilla in John Barrowman's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. real Barrowman? <laughs> yep. <laughs> sure. Wait, he does the mocap. I'm sure. Okay, right. Um, so, okay. Tom, what what do we actually have <laughs> at the moment? What is this? We have. 20 different game modes inside of a deconstruction construction simulation racing game in which you 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 have you don't really have a track to begin with you just have a construction site or a city or or some big mess of rubble there's checkpoints uh that are kind of sporadically placed around the map in no real positioning it's not like oh it's going to be around this corner or it's going to be you know up this hill or whatever it's like it's inside this building or it's you know in the basement of this building or it's it's way across this construction yard and the quickest way through is to smash through um one game mode is your godzilla i'm, I'm throwing that nope. in there that's nope. in there now <laughs> there's another game mode where you uh it's gun game but in reverse you start as a as a huge truck like a crane or a boring drill or something like that and as you do more damage uh more stuff falls off you but because you're in a massive crane it's hard to not do damage like you're gonna hit stuff so you're eventually going to downgrade into a into a barrowman's wheel barrowman um, <clears throat> which you then have to finish the race with. Okay. Uh, there's another game mode where it's it's Mario Kart, the battle from Mario Kart, I think. Uh, there's another one where it's actually an open world game and it's Burnout Paradise, but you're making the levels as you go. Um, and you're trying to I level an entire city with your friends. But I think ultimately it's a racing game. <laughs> Well, you have to come first in a rubble destruction mess. I mean, I think what you said about it being a, basically a drag race, right? It's like drag race gun game or drag race reverse gun drag game. Drag race gun game, re- drag race reverse gun game, going through buildings, 
as quick or as slow as you can, because slow means destruction, but quick means you get to the end first. Oh, also, there's a morality system where you, you have to try and avoid kids' hospitals. And John Barrowman's the mayor. <laughs> yep. If we can't get John Barrowman... Oh, we can. Uh, oh, we can. Okay. I don't think he's got work on at the moment. Okay. Then, <laughs> then we're I haven't seen him in anything. I mean, to be honest, we couldn't get Peter Molyneux, and he definitely doesn't have work on at the moment. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> what is he doing these days? So, yeah. uh, he's doing nothing. He's just vaping. Um... Okay, he so vapes a lot. John is Molyneux a renowned vapor. He's he yeah. vapes. Oh yeah, he he's Super. a serial vapist. He is <laughs> on he's he? ripping flat. He's a fat cow. Do you not? Were you here when he came <laughs> ripping <laughs> flat clowns? <laughs> sure. When he he's came to the flat office, clowns. he was like, um, I feel like I've told this before on on this podcast. He was vaping I everywhere. Think you have. I think you did it in the episode where we spoke about Peter Molyneux last time. Rouse was here. It was it was oh. the old office downstairs, and when you went downstairs, the whole the whole basement smelled of Molyneux vape. I think it was. Like you tried custard. to inhale it to get game ideas. Yeah, uh, I I did, but I just got dizzy, got lightheaded. It's the lack and of oxygen you, that that makes Molyneux ideas with his podcast. <laughs> flow. It's okay. the, yeah, it's just the teetering on the edge of consciousness. What That's is why this? I vape. <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> Of a million mini games that is also a drag race reverse gun game called John Barrowman's John Barrowman's Wheel Barrowman James. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, <laughs> yes. Uh, what What are you thinking? Would Would make Would play? Um, any of these yeah. game modes? <laughs> I any uh, of them? Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> oh God! I I like um. Just say I no, like James. The, I don't you, like the you, idea of the drag race. You can the say drag no. race doesn't work for me because I feel like you need no? to be able to repeat laps in order to see the results of the destruction and to combat that with some sort of strategy and combine that with Chris and Tom's gun game idea where the car becomes more and more damaged and then the vehicle becomes damaged and you're now in the wheelbarrow. Perfect. <laughs> I, I, I like refuse to game. take credit for the gun game thing. <laughs> uh, Alex already attributed it to the wrong person. I don't want you to do the same thing. That was all Chris. I'm okay, Chris. Uh, so I want uh, <laughs> oh, Rav's idea of the reverse gun game. I really like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I would play it for sure, yeah. Reverse gun game. Okay, Chris, would you... Would you make this idea? Would you play this idea? Um, James is I don't fantastic. think I have the technology available to me. Uh, I think you'd need <laughs> but if you did, I don't know. I, I mean, have you, no you're idea have to have what GTA engine very, very this would have to run on. No, I mean engine-wise. Oh. I don't. I, maybe Frostbite. Maybe At Frostbite. We do like. I mean, um, what was the um, the battle battlefield game? Was it Vietnam? Frostbite. Um, Bad Company Two. Where, where you're destro- like where they have super destructible buildings. Three. Does Battlefield still have all that in Bad there? Company Four. Two. Bad Company Two. Uh, no, they've really dialed it back a lot. Because that stuff was that's amazing, people, being able to destroy those battle, buildings. Yeah, bad, yeah, but Bad so Company much 2 fun. had very small buildings, mm. um, but a lot of them. And that was like 10 years ago. Skyscrapers. I'm sure they could destroy cities this, now, This right? wouldn't be uh, running on the Switch, that's for sure. Let's just <laughs> rule that no, out right no. now. No, I mean, <laughs> oh. this is a game for gamers, though. Yeah, this is for That's right. true. Not Switch players. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Which has got Burnout Paradise for, on it. This as is it for happens. PS5 or Xbox yeah, but not, One Series not for 50 quid, XS, James. small edition HD remix. Yeah, it's got um, this for PS6. And I would, uh, and, yeah. I would play it. I'd play the gun game one because I, I like that idea. I think that's interesting. I'd play the gun game. I'd play the, I'd play the Godzilla one if you were Godzilla and you just had to stop the cars racing around. Thank you. I think that would be quite fun. I'm warming then, up to it. I feel like right. that would be one of those games where the Godzilla is a VR player and they're just like oh. going down trying to grab oh fuck I just knocked something over in my room um, a great example if that was a building or a car, a car. Um, but what I don't really get is is that why uh, why is Godzilla trying to stop the destruction from, of the city he wants to do it for himself <laughs> or is he like yeah. this is my job don't take this from me yeah. coming yeah. over coming this over is, here all stealing I'm my for. job and he has a hard hat. Bam. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. also, it's a giant Bob the Builder. This game doesn't currently exist. May not for many years. In the meantime, we're going to have to play Burnout Paradise on one monitor and Counter Strike Gun Game on the other. 
and <laughs> hopefully yeah that will feel and, uh, somehow gorilla... similar wait what is that game red faction oh, red, red faction. faction that was the first yeah. one wasn't it that's also a Remarl mega destruction fully game. destructible terrain that's wow. so good what three monitors playing those three games mm -hmm. uh dreaming of John Barrowman's wheelbarrowman. Yeah. So can maybe just have put a, a picture a, a of portrait of monitor John Barrowman. With John Barrowman, yeah. yeah. If someone can do there. that and then please report to us on how that experience made you feel, uh, then yeah. we might know what this game is going to be like to play. So, uh, <laughs> Rav, thank you again for um, a, a weird idea that uh, has evolved uh, into so many different games that I'm not entirely sure if it's just not... A, is it a party game now? Like, is it no, John it, Barrowman's... it's Burnout Paradise. It's, it's Burnout Paradise with game. John Barrowman. It's Burnout Hellscape with John Barrowman's Wheel Barrowman. <laughs> okay. That was fantastic. Uh, thank you very much, Ravs, for, for joining us uh, once again. Thanks for having me, boys. I um, hope you like John Barrowman's Wheel Barrowman. Uh, I, I can't wait for it to come out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 Although, yeah. Although, like, maybe we should rethink about <laughs> Don't you John worry. Barrowman it's coming out. being in it, because otherwise then you, you're going to get less money, right? John Barrowman's no, going to no, get John a Barrowman, this is a, he, his passion audience, project. He brings in the money. For John mm. Barrowman. He's, he's such, okay. he, no, but he's such a, you know, a loved actor that yeah, whatever the, the cost, hordes of fans we'll pay will just have to buy this game. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, if anyone can contact John Barrowman for us, a person in touch, uh, please let oh, us I'll know. Give him a text. Where can they? Uh, where can they let us know, Tom? <laughs> where can they put us in touch with Tom Bar John Barrowman? Oh, uh, it just just send John this way to at Pitch Pullers Pod. Pitch please without the vowels. Should we try and get him on with the vowels on Twitter, and let's try and get John Barrowman on the podcast. We can he does have to Twitter. Bar Barrowman's at Barrowman. John Barrowman. If you guys you get John Barrowman on the podcast, you better tell him about John Barrowman's Will <laughs> Barrowman. <laughs> It's gonna I mean, be that's, how, that's how we're getting him on. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Uh, okay, right. We can get him to do voice lines for <laughs> us. <gasps> you can pay him on Cameo. We could definitely pay him to come on. Oh my on. God, someone please get him on Cameo to promote <laughs> John Barrowman's Will Barrowman. I don't even okay, know who all, he is. All I want... You don't know who <laughs> John Barrowman is? Uh, John Barrowman. Is, uh, I know Captain his name. Jack he literally Who? He played, Jack. <laughs> what? I in... say, he played one of the Nazis in the producers. He Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. All I know no, is that he's what? an actor. That's the only thing I know about him. Not seen him in anything. Oh, he's Barrowman's Barrowman. You've got to, you got to love John Barrowman. Barrowman. Well, he's definitely not coming on now after I've said that. I'm sorry. All right, look, if anyone can get him on Cameo, all I want is for him to say, this is John Barrowman's Wheel Barrowman, and then all of the menu things, play, <laughs> settings, <laughs> and the aliasing. I just want him to read out every setting that you can get. Would you uh, like to play again? You game out of that. You have selected <laughs> no. <laughs> would you like to play <laughs> Barrowman's Barrowman again I mean he also sings so he could do the soundtrack yeah we can get him to do one of the songs I thought you were going to say All of them. Uh, if anyone can get him on cameo I just want him to say yes Tom that's it <laughs> you're doing it just get right get him to say <laughs> would um, make would play Barrowman's Barrowman thank you John Barrowman's uh, Barrowman. thank you very much please uh, please don't contact John Barrowman um, no, it costs like 83 quid to request something. So don't do that. Really? Yeah. Jesus. That's what yeah, Cameo that. is. It's like, hey, we're out of work right now. Give me money to go, happy birthday, Keith. And then they're like, that was worth 83 pounds. All right. Well, or play, settings, <laughs> extras. <laughs> That's quick. 83 per one. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, will or will we not have John Barrowman on the podcast next week? Uh, I guess you'll have to wait and see. Um I've got a, I've got a you good have idea. Selected no. <laughs> selected no. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Goodbye. 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 <laughs>